Neptune is the first planet located through mathematical predictions rather than through regular observations of the sky. Galileo has recorded it as a fixed star during observations with a small telescope in 1612 and 1613. However, it was discovered by the French mathematician Urban Joseph Leverrier, but after it was ignored by other French mathematicians, Leverrier sent his predictions to Johann Gottfried Galle at the Berlin Observatory, who found Neptune on his first night of searching in 1847. 17 days later, its largest moon Triton was also discovered. Like Uranus, Neptune is also an ice giant. It lies nearly 5.4 billion kilometers from the Sun and it orbits it once every 165 years. Because of its extreme distance from us, we can't see it with the naked eye. An interesting fact is that the dwarf planet Pluto gets inside Neptune's orbit for a 20 year period out of 248 Earth years. That's because of the dwarf planet's highly eccentric orbit. However, if you are asking yourself if the two planets might crash into each other, the answer is no. That's because of the dwarf planet's highly eccentric orbit. However, Pluto can never crash into Neptune, because for every three laps Neptune takes around the Sun, Pluto makes two. The magnetic field of Neptune is about 27 times more powerful than that of Earth. Neptune has a storm similar to the Great Red Spot on Jupiter. It is commonly known as the Great Dark Spot and is roughly the size of Earth. Neptune has 6 known rings and 30 known moons, 6 of which were discovered by the Voyager 2. 14th tiny, very dim moon was discovered in 2013 and awaits official recognition. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, orbits the planet in the opposite direction compared with the rest of the moons, suggesting that it may have been captured by Neptune in the distant past. The Voyager 2 was the only spacecraft to fly past Neptune in 1989 which captured the first close-up images of the Neptunian system.